During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk about what is a bushel? Why do farmers use this bushel measurement? Why do we talk about bushels of corn and so on? Well, you've got to have some sort of measurement, Brian. Otherwise, how can you compare from one year to the next? You say, well, I raised 100 bushels this year, but I'm hoping to get 110 yeah, bushels but why, next year. Why bushels? Who cares about bushels? Why isn't it just in pounds? Well, it's actually the bushel is, is an ancient measurement. It, it's hundreds of years old, and it came back from the British, Brian. So anything from the British has got to be a little bit unusual, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so what it really <laughs> comes all right. Them, what it really what it really comes down to, though, is back in the old days. I mean, centuries ago, they didn't have scales everywhere like we do today. But what they did have is these bushel baskets, and it's real easy then with volume, and everything was measured in volume back then. Well, today it is all obviously done by weight. And today, a bushel just has a standard weight for each different crop. So for example, oats is 32 pounds for a bushel. Wheat would be 60 pounds for a bushel, just like soybeans is. Uh, corn, on the other hand, that's 56 pounds, so there is a little bit of difference. Why is there a difference in weight uh, for a corn bushel versus a soybean or wheat bushel, for example? Well, when you think about it, when something's going to be measured by volume, you're going to have different size kernels of seed. And when you've got soybeans, they're round, they may fill that bushel basket just a little bit different than a, than a corn kernel that, that's kind of flat. Uh, and, and oats are really a light kernel, so like we talk about oats, that's only yeah, 32 so pounds in a bushel. Density and shape. Density and shape. Farmers, though, they look at this test weight thing and, and say, okay, well, a bushel of corn is supposed to weigh 56 pounds, but what if I could make an even more dense kernel? What if I could make that corn weigh 60 pounds per bushel? Well, that's fantastic. If they can make a more dense kernel, they're going to get more yield in their field most times. So farmers are trying to raise the most nutrient-dense a uh, kernel they can possibly raise, and a good, heavy, strong kernel, and that's what they're shooting for. We're selling our corn right now by the pound rather than uh, by a, a volume measurement. But if we can get more pounds into each truck and, and off each ear of corn in the field, we're going to get more yield in the field as well. Well, once again, the bushel is a unit of measure. It's actually based on volume. And what it really amounts to is eight gallons. So if you want to know exactly how much is in a bushel basket, it's eight gallons and whatever material will fit in that bushel basket. But, you know, since uh, probably the last few decades here, we've converted everything over to pounds. So it's actually done in pounds on the farm, and then we convert it back over to bushels. I don't know why we do that, Aaron. Well, it's just Seems fun, silly. Brian. You know, math, <laughs> math is so fun. Like, like I like to count weeds, Brian. If you've got a million weeds out in your field, especially if there are weed of the week, you need to get them under control or you won't have any yield to measure at all. Can you identify this week's weed? 